Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Are you interested in the gun that won the West? Well, it was something like this, the original cowboy gun. This is a Winchester 1873-4440. It's a rimfire lever action, and it's got a very smooth action. The thing to know about lever actions is there's a little pin right here, and then when you're preparing to shoot it, you need to be holding it so that the pin and the lever are in contact. It also has a little lever here that is the safety that you just turn it and it holds the action. So that holds the action. So then when you want to fire it, you would turn that button. Oh, put your bullet in here. And then there you go. It has a dust cover, which they put on later in the, uh, later than a lot of these guns were made because they got so full of dirt, the early ones don't have the dust cover. This one was actually made in 1890 and um, it was designed for black powder because the uh, smokeless powder didn't come out until I think 1898, but when I get, loads for this. I load a light load with smokeless powder because the black powder makes such a huge mess and it can rest your barrel and everything else. So I enjoy shooting this very much. It Because it's a 4440 and I use a lower load, it doesn't have nearly the kick that a, a 30 out 6 would have. So it's nice. The other thing I like about this gun is it actually, if you look on here, it has some initials carved in it which I like the historical part of that, but as far as the value of the gun, that would degrade the gun unless you had a picture of, say, some celebrity holding this gun and those were his initials. But it, that isn't the case for this, but it's beautiful. This gun has also been polished and re-blued. It's extra smooth and nice, which devalues the gun, but it's beautiful. And if I want it for a shooter and not a collector, then that's all right. Um, the other thing about this one is, uh, the, oh, I can tell that it's been redone because you know where they have the inscriptions on it, if you run your fingers across it, when they first been engraved, uh, the engraving is dented into it and then it leaves a little lip on it and when you run your finger over it, those um, serrated bumps are no longer there. So the gun would feel smooth because it had been polished or re -blued, so it's filled in and taken away the engraving marks. Anyway, I like the gun very much so I wasn't concerned with that it had been changed because I love historical guns, I love uh, octagonal barrels, and lever actions are a lot of fun to shoot. Leave me a message or a comment on what you think about lever actions and uh, please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel. Have a wonderful day.